going on YouTube? So, this is the Steyr Mahdi. Mahdi's were some of the first AKs imported in the country in the early 1980s. And Steyr contracted with the Mahdi company in Egypt to import some AKMs in the United States, about 2,000 of them. These are pretty much military AKMs in every way, shape, and form, except for, well, it's not drilled for this year. But that's probably a good thing because then it'd be, you know, $30,000, $25,000, and hey, I wouldn't want to shoot it. Picked this up at a gun show here in Reno. The uh, seller was a Californian, and cool little story about Californians is uh, California gun laws suck. So after all the gun laws were passed and they couldn't have these anymore, a lot of them just sort of kept them in their closets, you know, in their gun safes, and like, waited a few years, decades, and then suddenly, uh, you know what, I just don't want to be caught with this thing. So they come over to Nevada or Arizona, or Oregon, and they unload their pre banned AKs, whether they're Chinese, Egyptian like this one, Hungarian, Finnish, Yugoslavian, whatever. And a lot of them get really good prices for them. I got this for uh, a steal. People would say it's a steal, that's for sure. I'm not going to go into what I paid for it, but I actually paid less than what the guy originally bought it for in 1982. Um, stuff that it came with, it came with the original manual, the original invoice, and the original inspection certificate. Left Mahdi Company in 5-2 of 82. At least I'm pretty sure that's how the Egyptians do it, since we do 2-5, but pretty sure it's going to be May 2nd of 82. And it was signed for by whoever that is. Somebody Abdul... blah, 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 blah. And you got the original manual. Carrying just some of your AKM. Mahdi Company, Cairo. Is that pretty dope? And the original invoice, San Francisco Gun Exchange. That's where the guy got it from. Total price of tax is nine fifty nine. I paid less than that, so yeah, steal. You'll find these on Gun Broker in the various forms for anywhere from you know thirteen hundred to two thousand dollars, depending on what condition it in, what condition it's in. Excuse me, whether it has the box or not. So on, so on, and so forth. This one has never been fired. It, it <laughs> there's absolutely no, you know, carbon on the piston. You know, everything was clean. It, it hadn't been fired. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, the grips they originally come with are these brown grips. These can get fairly brittle after a while, so I just took it off and tossed a dark blue Egyptian grip on there, Mahdi grip. Uh, the magazines that come with them are. You know, they're just standard European style magazines manufactured in Egypt. They have the Made in Egypt stamp right there. <sighs> Slightly different than military contract magazines, but in other words, they're just pretty much the same. People scoff at the finish on Mahdi's. This is a fairly tough finish, actually. It's, you know, enamel baked, enamel -baked paint over park, so... You're going to have scratches and stuff, but this is what the Russians were putting on their guns in the 70s. Works fine. Am I going to take a wire brush to it? No. Am I going to let it wear in naturally? Yeah. Am I going to shoot this thing a ton? Yeah, probably not. Take it out once in a while. Shoot it. The only thing that a Mahdi collector would really scoff at with this particular model is even though the guy never shot it, he tossed an optics rail on it. I don't know when any time in the last 30 you know, years. Who knows? I said the other stamp right there under it, but it would say ARM semi-automatic rifle, you know, Mahdi Company made in Egypt. But you got your Y stamp right here, good old chicken foot. That's where the safety sear slash auto sear would go. You got another stamp on the rear sight base. There's a nice palm swell wood. And it's funny, the upper hand guard and the stock match, and from what the original literature said, they got the wood from Finland whatever but the lower handguard was always tended to be a ladder wood and was you know had a lacquerish sealant on it that and that do not going forward a couple minor little scratches in the finish doesn't bug me it's an AK it's supposed to look like this got that nice square Tula style I mean this is essentially a Tula AKM from you know 1970, 1971 time frame. Beautiful gun. The cool thing about this gun is 
a lot of the Amadi legends, they said that, oh, in the first 20 or 30 serial numbers, these had Y stamps on them. And in fact, the first 20 or 30 serial numbers had the rail inside, the bolt rail, cut for the sear. Well, that's actually wrong. Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. This is serial number 1005. So right in the middle of, you know, the 2000 or so that were imported. And... Imagine my surprise when I opened it up. Oh, let me get that out of there. Get a flashlight so we can see. When, oh look, there's a cutout right there where the sear would go. So the rail is slotted for an auto sear. No, this is not going to become a machine gun. No, it is not classified as a machine gun now. It has to have that hole right there. So, that's the cool thing, is this rifle is, you know, one of the collector modis. It's got the Y stamp, it's got the slot in the uh, bolt rail, and woohoo! Again, pure collectors aren't going to like it because of that. I don't care. I'm just going to shoot it. You know, all the numbers match on it, you know, 1005. Flip up the uh, rear sight. 1005. Recoil spring has one or has the last three digits 0005. Gas tube is marked underneath 10005. This thing is just you know a beautiful AKM, guys. It's a collector's piece for some. For some like me, it's a shooter that I don't take out shooting very often, but I will. It's just a cool piece of AK history. There's no 922R with this. There's not a single US made part on this thing. You know, they shave off the uh the disconnector in the uh trigger group. They shave off part of the hammer where it would interact with a sear if it was a select fire modi. But other than that, these are no different than a standard modi AKM and really a you know in a Russian Tula AKM from 1970. So there you go, guys. That's my gun show score of the decade is less than 900 bucks for a pre-band modi that has never been fired. Woohoo! Bye.